Hey, what's going on? I know it's late, but it's still Wednesday. It's word of the day, Wednesday. Come on, somebody. I'm um, starting a brand new series today. Uh, man, this whole year I've been doing series. I uh, did a series in um, January uh, talking about the seven I am statements. That actually started like in December. And then all of February, I did a relationship series called Relationship Goals. Go check those out, IGTV. Um, YouTube, all that good stuff. Um, we are kind of counting down the final moments before Easter. Easter's on April 12th, I think. Don't quote me on that. Check your calendar. Um, but I thought it'd be super cool. I, I know a bunch of people have done this before, um, where they go over the seven last statements of Jesus leading up to Easter, something to meditate on. You know, you may be practicing Lent right now if you're Catholic or, you know, just kind of getting your mind right to, you know, get ready for Easter or whatever. The last statements of Jesus are so important. I mean, he was the son of God, fully God, fully man. And people on their deathbed say the most important things of their life. It's like, you know, when they get to their deathbed, they're trying to give you wisdom or, you know, some revelation from their time of living. And so who more important to hear the last words from than Jesus, okay? So uh, we will start today um, with the first last statement. Sounds kind of weird, but it's the first of the seven last statements of Jesus. And it is found in Luke um, 23, verse 34. Um, and basically, it is, let me see, where is it at? Um, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Okay? Super, super important. It's called the bigness of forgiveness. Forgiveness is so important. Um I feel like so many people, man, even have physical ailments because of unforgiveness, right? There's a famous quote out there that, man, having unforgiveness is like drinking poison and wishing the other person dies. You know, you're only hurting yourself when you hold on to unforgiveness. Um, super good book on forgiveness is right here. It's called The Book of Forgiving by Desmond Tutu. Super phenomenal. I read this book. It's seriously amazing. Basically breaks down forgiveness in a four-step process. Um, that first step is telling the story. Super important. I think so many people just stuff bad things that have happened to them. You know, maybe they've been taken advantage of or have been hurt in some sort of way, and they just stuff it. And they don't tell the story. And there's so much healing in just sharing your story, okay? Um, the second step in this four-step process of forgiveness is naming the pain. Name the pain. Um, and it's super important to, to get specific, right? Like name the actual pain that happened to you. Don't just keep it generic or, or whatever, like name it, give it a name. Cause the moment you give it a name is the closer you get to removing it from your life and getting healing. Okay. Um, third step is granting forgiveness. Um, super, super important. As we go through our life, people are going to hurt us. We have to know that that's, that's just a part of life. But um, we don't have to hold on to that hurt. We don't have to carry the baggage from that hurt. We can grant forgiveness to people. Um, they don't, you don't. They don't have to be in your life, you know, currently you can go through a process of, you know, uh, forgiving them and releasing them from that prison in your heart, um, even without, you know, talking to them. It's, it's good if you can get to the point where you can have a, a conversation with them, but maybe they passed away, you know, or maybe it's just been so such a heinous um, act against you that you can't go face to face. And that's OK. Right. You don't need to do that in order to grant forgiveness. Um, and the last step in that four step process of forgiveness is either renewing or releasing, releasing the relationship. 
which is super important to determine, right? Is this something that I want to renew? Is this a relationship that I want to try again? Or, you know, it's okay to release that relationship. You can forgive them, but not be around them again. That's super important because I feel like so many people feel like, oh, if I forgive, then I'm excusing. Or if I forgive, then I'm going to allow them to hurt me again or all these different things. No, you can release that relationship, but you cannot release that relationship unless you forgive. Because forgive, like unforgiveness is like holding on to something, holding on to that pain super tightly. And if you squeeze your fist super tightly, and especially if you have nails, I have nubs, so I'm not doing it, you know, justice. But if you have nails and you squeeze your fist super tightly, you're only hurting yourself. And so you need to let it go. Let it go like Elsa. All right. So um, that is the first of the last statements of Jesus um, we'll, you know, be doing this for about seven weeks. Um, super excited for what we're going to learn from the last words of man, one of the most influential, uh, people on the planet in history. Um, hope you guys are having a great day. God bless you.